Hello everyone, welcome to your movement of today. Today I'm gonna guide you through a full body Pilates workout. For today's workout, you will need some light hand weights. Mine, I think are two pounds. And then our Pilates ball. If you haven't shopped our Solzing Body Pilates ball yet, you can find it in our shop. It is an amazing piece of equipment that is really, really gonna intensify the workout and really target all those small little muscles. So let's hop right into it. Come on into a nice wide stand. We're gonna first start off with a little stretch, reaching those arms all the way up and slowly lower down. Take a deep inhale and exhale all the way up. It's Friday today, We're almost ready for the weekend. This is our final hush of the day right here. So I want you to really give it all and your weekend will right begin. All right, reach it all the way up. I want you to reach that right arm all the way up and then reach it to the left side, really feeling that nice stretch here into that right side, into those obliques. Open up that chest, there we go. And then slowly come back through the middle and then switch it over to the other side. Reach a couple inches up and then reach it all the way over. And reach it through the middle. I want you to slowly step it in. And I grab those shoulder blades. I'm gonna make a couple of really big circles right here. Open all the way up. And rotate to the other side. Really big circles forward. Great job. Now I want you to fold those arms together, open up that chest, take a deep inhale on the exhale, slowly lower down that upper body, and then let those arms fall all the way over. I want you to have a slight bend into those knees so you feel a nice little hamstring stretch right here. Nice stretch into those shoulder blades, inhale, and exhale out. Let those arms fall over and then just swing from side to side. Get that spine, loosen up that lower back, Shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then slowly roll it all the way up and shake it out. Amazing, there we go. All right, I want you to grab your light hand weights right here. I'm gonna start off with a little standing series. So we're really focusing on a lot of extensions and really wide range of motions. We're really using that core also to drive us through the motion. So I want you to start up right in the front, roll your shoulder blades back, slight bend into those knees. We're gonna step it back with that left bend, reach those arms out, and then reach those arms all the way up, look all the way up, bring it back in, and step it in. There we go. So step it out, reach those arms out, reach to the top, bring it down. There we go. Bring it in. Step it out. And every time we're stepping out, I want you to give that left glute a little extra squeeze. There we go. Reach it out. Extend it out. Really feel that stretch into that core. Slow and controlled. Extend. Reach it up. We have two more right here. Four, two. One, bring those arms forward, bring them together. We're just coming to a tiny step back, tiny step in, tiny step out, tiny step in. So you can really feel all that pressure is into that front leg, really into that right heel. There we go, tiny step in. I want you to really squeeze that glute, driving you through that motion. One inch up, one inch down, there we go. Small movement, big impact right there. Really focus on that mind to muscle right here. So really get into that glute. That core is working by lifting those arms a little bit up. Four, four, three, two, and one. I want you to lean it all the way forward. Come on into a standing leg right here. That left knee is nice and up. Take a deep inhale on the exhale, we're coming into an airplane and then reaching those arms over to the side, bring it in. Into that airplane, reach those arms to the side, squeeze those shoulder blades together and bring it in. So we're really working on that stability right here. Core stability, that leg, mobility as well, that knee, that ankle, there we go. If this is too challenging, you can always keep the arms in or even grab a chair and continue right here. Reach it out. 
Press those shoulder blades together. There we go. Open up that chest. Two more. Four, two. And one, bring those arms in. Tiny little leg lifts with that left leg up and down. There we go. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it in and shake it out. Whew. That should feel really good into that burning leg right here. Great job. Okay, we're gonna shake it out a little more. We'll go over to our other side. So again, into a standing position, slight bent into those knees, roll those shoulder blades back, arms come in front. So they're next to your breast right here. We're gonna step it back with that left leg, squeeze that right glute, reach those arms out, reach them up to the ceiling. Those eyes are following, lower down, bring it in, reach it out, squeeze it all the way up, bring it in. Slow and control, there we go. Squeeze it all the way. Feel that extension into that core. That core is working right here, really lengthening and toning those muscles. Reach it all the way up, eyes are following, there we go. We have four more. Four, three. Two. And one. Slowly bring those arms in. We're gonna step it in, step it out. So it's only one inch up, one inch down, really getting into that glute right here. And you can move those arms a little up and down with. This is also how this activates that core right there. Bring it in, bring it down. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. We're slowly gonna bring that right knee in. You guys know the drill, we're getting into that airplane. We reach those arms to the side and then slowly bring it in. Again, there's a slight bend into that standing leg. Make sure to not lock up that knee and really feel that balance coming in right here. Core is working, that arm, that full body, squeeze it all the way. If you wanna modify, you can grab a chair or not reach the arms out, it's completely up to you. If you feel put a challenge, join me right here. There we go, reach it out. Okay, we're gonna bring those arms in, tiny little leg lifts with that right leg, really squeeze through that glute. Eyes are in front of you, slight bend into that standing leg. There we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in and shake it out. Amazing. Okay, we really worked on that stability, mobility, really worked on finding that balance. So we're gonna get into a nice wide stand right here. You to place those arms onto your shoulders. We're gonna come into a nice sumo squat. Reach those arms up, bring it in, squeeze it up. There we go. Lower down that booty, squeeze it up, lower down. And every time we're lowering down and coming up, really squeeze that glute, press through that heel. There we go. Move those arms with, reach them up. Lower all the way down, maybe go one inch lower. Really try to push yourself right here. I want you to focus on like giving yourself in. So as soon as you start to feel like, oh, I'm struggling, really push it through. Here's where we're getting stronger. Press it down and lower down. Tiny little pulses right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Press it back up. Okay, those arms come behind your head right here. Palms are facing forward, belly is in, squeeze those glutes. Coming into a nice deep sumo squat right here. Reach it over to the right, reach it over to the left. Keep that booty nice and low. Those obliques are working here, those arms. There we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And press it up. Great job. We're gonna shake it out right here. Take a deep inhale. Catch your breath a little. You can grab a little bit of water if you need to. I wanna get into a little bit of upper body work into some arm work before we're heading over down to the mat. So come on to a standing position. We're just gonna reach those arms out and in. There we go. Squeeze them out and in. Every time we're coming back in, I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades, reach them out and in. These are one of our favorite app and arm burners right here. Reach it out and in. Squeeze it all the way. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Tiny little circles forward. Keep the chest nice and open. Engage that core. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one reverse right here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring the arms in into that bicep curl right here. Extend all the way out, bring it in. Those palms are facing up right here. Find that mind muscle connection right here. Those biceps are working. Squeeze it all the way in, all the way down. There we go, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms up, open up and close. Every time we're opening up, squeeze those shoulder blades. Belly button is in, there we go. Bring it in, squeeze it out, four, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, tiny little pulses. There we go. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna drop those weights onto the ground. And I want you to grab your ball right here. Come on into a seated position. Reach that ball all the way in front. And then we're, I want you to tuck the belly button and we're slowly rolling all the way down, really rolling over that spine, reaching those arms back. Reach the ball up. Head, neck, or shoulders come off to the ground into a seated position. There we go. So I'm gonna repeat this a couple of times. Really round that spine. Really use that core and slowly lower down. Tap the ball, reach the ball up, head, neck, or shoulders, slowly come off to the ground into a seated position. Lower down the arms, tuck the belly, and slowly roll it back. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna place a ball right here underneath the shoulder blades. Feet are flat on the ground. Open up that chest nice and wide. We're gonna start off really simple, reaching all the way back, bring it in. So we're really opening up that whole chest. And then slowly in the exhale, when we're coming back in, make sure to close that rib cage. So you really see all those abdominals are contracted right here. So open up, squeeze it in. The ball truly gives a whole new dimension to that ball or to that core work right here. Open up, 
and slowly squeeze it in. We have three more. Four, three. Two. And one. I want you to quickly grab your hand weights here. The ball stays on the same position. We're gonna reach those arms nice and long and I want you to bring that right leg into a tabletop, bring that left leg into a tabletop. I want you to open up those arms, come into little arm circles right here. So that leg stays exactly the same, that whole lower body and just those arms are moving tiny little circles in. There we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one reverse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms in into those bicep curls. There we go, extending all the way out, extending in. Keep that core nice and tight. There we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Palms are facing down to the ground. We're gonna extend that right leg long, bring those arms in, squeeze it out. There we go. So it's almost into that chest press right here, but we're reaching that leg nice and long. There we go, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower down, drop that weight. Okay, we're gonna keep it right here underneath the shoulder blades. Open up that chest, give that upper body a nice little rest. We're gonna reach that right leg long. We're gonna slowly bring it in knee in, reach it long to the ceiling, lower down, there we go. So into this slow bicycle right here. You should really feel those lower abdominals working right here. Those ties are working because you're really extending and engaging all those muscles there. Bring it in, squeeze it up. Knee in, squeeze it up, point that toe, there we go. We have two more, four, two, and one. Hold it here, we're gonna reach it one inch out, one inch in. So that leg stays on the same height, but just moves a couple inches in and out. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring it in, twist that upper body, squeeze it all the way out. Reach it in, lengthen all the way out. There we go. Feel that twist into that upper body. All the way in, all the way out. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee down, slowly lower down that chest. Give that upper body a nice little stretch right here. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, head, neck, or shoulders come off to the ground. Really engage that core again. We're gonna extend that left leg long. Bring it in into that bicycle, reach all the way down. Bring the knee in, reach it up, lower all the way down. Those elbows stay nice and wide right here. Feel that leg squeezing all the way through. Really focus on those lower abdominals right here. There we go, we have four more right here. Four, two,
and one on the last one, we're holding that leg out, really pointing that toe. We're squeezing one inch out, one inch in. So that whole body stays the same, just that leg comes out and in. There we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it in into that crossover. There we go, that right elbow or the right armpit is reaching to that left knee, that upper body, those obliques are working. Squeeze it across, there we go. Four, eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Grab those weights and then place that ball in between your knees right here. Your feet are flat on the ground and then I want you to reach those arms up to the ceiling, palms are facing each other. Now take a deep inhale on the exhale, tilt the pelvis and then slowly roll it up into a glute bridge right here. Slowly roll all the way down bone by bone, roll it all the way back up, really squeeze those inner ties together, really feel that tension onto the ball, there we go. I want you to really find that mind to muscle connection right here with those glutes into that neutral and then press it back up. Okay, really press that ball together, the palms are now facing towards the ball. I want you to slowly lower down and into that arm press lower down so those hips come all the way down squeeze that glute press those arms there we go squeeze it all the way full body today there we go press really engage that glute the ball really give this amazing tension to that inner thigh to that glute there we go Four, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, come on to our tippy toes, tiny little pulses up and down. There we go. Your hips come one inch up, one inch down. Those heels are off to the ground. Squeeze that ball. There you go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Palms are together, coming into that tricep extension and extend it up, staying onto those tippy toes. There we go, those triceps are working. Squeeze it all the way up. Squeeze it all the way down. Four, eight, seven. Keep those hips nice and high. Six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here again, tiny little pulses with that hip up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Really squeeze through those glutes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly roll it down and bring the weights to the ground, bring that ball back. I want you to give yourself a really nice big hug right here. Amazing job for showing up today. Just wiggle from side to side. Inhale, exhale out. And let those knees fall over to the side. I want you to grab your hands and put them on top and just give a nice little stretch right here. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly bring those knees in. Slowly bring it up. So you come into a little chest stress actually, coming right here on into like a reverse half force. So we're just gonna stretch it all the way open and then slowly bring it in. Stretch it all the way open slowly lower in there we go 
should feel a nice little stretch into that chest. Getting you straight into some extra work right here. <laughs> oh, slowly lower down. Okay, come onto a seated position. And I want you to grab the right side up to your neck and then slowly reach it. Slowly pull it over to the side so you really feel on the side of your neck this nice little stretch. We often hold a lot of tension here, so want to give it a little extra love. And move over to the other side. Grab it over to the left and then reach it all the way over. Slowly bring it up and shake it out. You are all done for today. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you tomorrow.